Hello everyone, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today is a 2k special dedicated to my subscribers on the life of a worker ant. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome to the My Living World's Ants channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Ants are among the planet's most abundant insects. The total ant population is estimated at one quadrillion. On average, that means one insect out of a thousand is an ant. Although ants are small, they make up for it in numbers. The heart of the colony is the queen, but the workforce behind the colony is vastly impressive. Ants act as decomposers by feeding on organic waste, insects and other dead animals. They help keep the environment clean. Carpenter ants, which make their nests in dead or diseased wood, considerably accelerate the decomposition process of timber. After the ants leave, fungi and bacteria grow in the galleries and break down the lignin and cellulose of large surfaces. Ants are predators of other insects and their eggs. In their natural habitat, they are a source of food for many invertebrates and vertebrates, including woodpeckers and other insectivorous insects. Ants are frontline workers. By digging galleries and tunnels, ants help to aerate soil. They till the soil by bringing pebbles and particles to the top. Like many other species of ants, carpenter ants are also efficient workers. Teamwork plays a very important role in helping ants survive. Ants are well known for their ability to work in groups. They work in groups by performing a variety of activities, which include transporting heavy objects, finding food, and building their nests. Inside the colony, every ant has a job, and every ant is necessary. The work they do as individuals may be small and seem insignificant, but collectively, ants have a huge workforce which enables them to get things done. Different ants in the colony are specialists in their fields. This can range from ants which take care of recently hatched eggs, and ants that take care of the queen and her brood. Other ants which are responsible for finding food and bringing it back to the nest. And there are ants that are responsible for defending the nest against predators and enemies. And finally, the queen who is responsible for laying eggs and increasing the population of ants. When working together in a colony, they are able to efficiently perform tasks and solve problems. Although the majority of ants communicate through the use of pheromones, this has proven to be a very effective communication method for them. Ants leave behind invisible chemical trails which other ants use to get to sources of food. When they go out to look for food, they leave behind traces of pheromones to guide other ants to the food, using the easiest possible route. As more ants follow the trail, more pheromones are left on the trail. This makes it easier for new ants to know how to get to food sources. It is a well-known fact that the majority of ants are able to carry 50 times their body weight. This is an amazing feat. It's the reason why you see tiny ants carrying large pieces of food to bring back to the colony. When ants decide to work together, they are even stronger than they are alone. Because of the large numbers that ants travel in when farming and hunting, they can achieve much more than a single organism, and in fact, almost form one whole organism themselves. They are able to overcome bigger prey, which lone ants would not be able to fend off. They are even able to ward off bigger animals like mammals, which might attack them. When they need to compete with other colonies, for example, pavement ant season, the ant colonies will fight, and the large numbers are needed to defeat the other colony. The bigger the colony, the higher the chance that they will win. Pavement ant season is when ants will become aggressive and competitive. They fight for territory. Whichever colony wins will claim it, and the loser will be forced to find a new smaller territory. This is a numbers game, and the colony with the bigger number will end up winning. Some ants don't simply hunt or scavenge for insect remains. Some harvest seeds, and others cultivate a fungi by collecting plant matter. Ants will not attack unprovoked. They are generally peaceful creatures. They are omnivorous, but will go for the easiest food possible. If they find a good enough plant to feed on, they will signal to the other ants to collect and bring back to the nest. This tactic is performed by leafcutter ants. These ants will go out to find vegetation, which they will later use to grow fungus gardens right inside the nest. As they collect more plant matter and feed it to the fungus, it then grows and becomes larger, therefore creating a larger living space and food supply. Why do ants work together as a team? Ants work together as a team because they are able to achieve bigger accomplishments as a team. Ants use their specific skill sets to improve the colony as a whole. They depend on each other to find food sources. Ants work together and use their combined strength 
to move things and come together to defend their nests against common enemies. They work together as a team because they know that working together will give better results than working as individuals. The queen ant does play a vital role in the colony and lays eggs constantly. For most species of ants, there is only one or multiple reproductive queens. The queen is responsible for the continuation of the colony. She lays eggs continuously to make this happen. In a lot of cases, when the queen dies, the colony dies. Male ants. The only job of the male ant is to reproduce with the female ant. They die quickly after mating with the queen. Because they only exist to mate, these ants will die off after a week or so, sometimes even days. The workers are the ants you see every day. The worker ants are all female, and go out and look for food and water, and also tend to young in the nest. To ensure that the young ants are well looked after, some of the worker ants stay indoors to tend to the young. So what do ants do all day? Well as you know, the queen ant lays eggs all day. The workers have various roles. The worker ants can be divided into outside workers and inside workers. The inside worker ants spend the day feeding and cleaning the queen, keeping the nest warm, maintaining tunnels, storing any food brought in by outside ants, and keeping the nest safe from predators. The outside ants are concerned with finding food for the colony. This includes hunting and looking for animals to bring back to the nest. In addition, they find foods such as nuts and seeds. They also look for and collect suitable materials to improve the nest. Ants can differentiate between ants in their colony from ants who are not in their colony. Ants communicate using advanced pheromones, and not just does each different ant species use different pheromones, but each individual colony of the same species also uses different pheromones. Sometimes, lost or new queens will try to join already established colonies. They will be rejected by the colony. But in certain circumstances, the ants may adopt the lone queen if their previous queen has passed away, or if they are polygynous colonies. Their skill of communication using pheromones is very advanced and effective. The smells released by each ant is picked up by other ants through their long antenna. This is how ants get information about their situation. Ants will carry their dead away. Many insects do this. This behaviour is most commonly found in social insects. The behaviour is called necrophoresis. When an ant dies, it releases a specific pheromone, which tells other workers that it needs to be removed from the nest area. The live ants will pick up the dead ants and take them away. They move the dead ants for sanitary and health reasons. If dead ants are left too close to the nest, or even inside the nest, then it can become infested with microorganisms that can kill off the ant colony. The ants that remove the dead ants are designated undertakers. This greatly improves the chances of the colony's survival, making them less prone to being attacked by mites or harmful pathogens and diseases. Insects are intelligent in their own ways, but they act differently so they cannot be rated on the same scale as mammals or humans. But from what we know about ants, we can safely assume that they are quite an intelligent species of insect. Ants are very social. They are good at communicating with one another and work together to get big tasks done. Their ability to work together in colonies makes them highly intelligent. They cooperate, share, work, help and know how to act to get the maximum benefit for the colony. They are even able to regulate and maintain the health of the colony. Worker ants are all female, and this sisterhood is responsible for the harmonious operation of the colony. And as mentioned, their tasks range from caring for the queen and the young, foraging, policing conflicts in the colony, and waste disposal. Workers will most likely never have their own offspring. The vast majority of eggs develop as workers. But once the colony is ready, the queen produces the next generation of reproductive ants, which will go on to start their own colonies. A female ant's fate to become a worker or queen is mainly determined by diet, not genetics. Any female ant larvae can become a queen with a protein-rich diet. The other larvae receive less protein, which causes them to develop into workers. Unlike humans with X and Y chromosomes, an ant's sex is determined by the number of genome copies it possesses. Male ants develop from unfertilized eggs, so receive no genome from a father. This means that male ants don't have a father and cannot have sons, but they do have grandfathers and do have grandsons. Female ants, in comparison, develop from fertilized eggs and have two genome copies, one from their father and one from their mother. Male ants function like flying sperm, only having one genome copy means every one of their sperm is genetically identical to themselves, and their job is over quickly, dying soon after mating. Although their sperm lives on perhaps for years, essentially their only job is to reproduce. Slave making is another evolution that ants have adapted. 
but they also display cooperation at extraordinary levels. An extreme example of this is a super colony. These colonies are usually a result of multiple queens of the same species, founding a nest together after nuptial flights. This greatly boosts the founding stages of the colony. Once the multi-queen colony is established, with a few hundred workers, they will bud off into groups creating new nests within a few metres of the original nest. As a result of this, super colonies with millions of ants can be found. Ants have a major influence in ecosystems worldwide, and their roles are diverse. While some ants are considered pests, Others act as biological control agents. Ants benefit ecosystems by dispersing seeds, pollinating plants, and improving the quality of soil. Ants might also benefit our health, as a potential source of new medicines such as antibiotics. So when you next see an ant, before you think to kill her, consider how fascinating she really is. When you see ants all over the ground, you might not view these insects as very orderly, but their society certainly is. The amazing world of ants is endless and it's perfect evolution, and we can all learn something from how ants work together. Here's my banded flower mantis, which I promised would be featured in this video. He is about three and a half months old, and he is coming close to his final molt, where he will get his wings. Stay tuned for future videos to see his growth. You might have noticed, some of the footage I took was of my European fire ant colony. They are doing really well, and even I was surprised to spot at least six queens. This is at least double what I expected to find and there is a high chance there are more I didn't see. The majority of my colonies are now hibernating and are doing well. Find out how my colonies are doing, which recently moved into nests from test tube setups in my next video. If you enjoy these videos, please comment down below and thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel.